train with us, you have to bring the energy. You gotta bring the juice. What's up, you guys? I'm Rachel Demita here with another episode of Out of Breath. And we are in Long Island, New York, to show you guys all the hard work that goes into being an NBA athlete. Today, we are training with none other than Tobias Harris. So let's see how I do. Here's Harris for three. Yes. What's up? What's good? Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome. All right, so we're working out today. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous. No, nah, you shouldn't be nervous. <laughs> okay. You're going to be good. We got some company because I train in the summers with my siblings. So cool. they're all here. And um, yeah. let's get this working. Well, let's meet up. Let's do it. Cool. Listen, if you train with us, you have to bring the energy. Huh? Ready, set, go. Drive in, drop into those hips, pump those arms. Let's go, 10 yards out. Lateral shuffle, I want the foot outside the box. Give me good spacing, don't worry about going too fast. Crossovers, all right? Right, there you go, crossover. There you go, Rachel, pump those arms a little bit. Slide through, go. Slide it out. We're gonna do a hip cradle into a rotary step out. Ready, go. Don't pull on that ankle. That's why you're the project. Pull on the knee. There ah. you go. But this is all key to That's stability. It. Nice and big. Having your base on the court and everything. Entire foot striking the ground. Toe up, knee up, knee up. Drive, drive. Good. Ready. Go. Tap two. Good. Chest up big. Drive the elbows. Quick sip of water, everybody. Quick sip Woo, of water. Thank Let's you, go. Jesus. So we just finished the warm up. I'm already sweating. Oh, and this coach don't play around either. The drill that we're about to do now, we're going to get their feet moving some more. We're going to do some what are called quarter eagles. We're going to work on hip turn. We're going to blend those with some crossovers. And then we're going to teach them also how to take that into both a cutback sprint and then a straight ahead sprint. I mean, and all the things that we're doing uh, translates right to the game, right to the court. Get everything going. Get me laterally quicker, lower on the floor. Strength stuff that we do most of the summer as well also correlates pretty highly in terms of the positions. So we work on the speed and movement part out here, but we're kind of cementing that with the actual strengthening drills that we're doing in the weight room as well. That warm up was pretty brutal, but now the real workout starts. Set, go. Drive them, drive them, drive them. Good job, all right. The rotary shuffle is no joke. Go, turn those hips. Chop it up, chop it up. We're just getting started, but my legs are already burning. Go, 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 go. Rest. His favorite word is go. go. All right, I think I need a break. Cross, cross. We're gonna combine them, and we're gonna add a sprint piece. You got this. Down low, athletic ready, set, go, cross. Yeah. Good. Yep, oh, there we Rachel go. Got you. There we go. There we go. Good crossover. Good punch cut release. Sell me the quarter eagle one. What I just did was perfect. It hit me like, nope, wasn't good. But is that better for you? Because That's better. Yeah. It's time to ramp this thing up with some band work. Go. Drop them. Good. Out. Come on. Drop them. Good. All right. I'm getting the hang of this now. Go. Drop. And back. Good. Attack. And drop. Chop and drop, no big strides. Chop and drop, let's go. I feel like I'm getting into the swing of it a little bit more. Yeah. At first I was like, well, He threw you what's into going the fire, on? <laughs> yeah. Bang. I was like, dang, my directions, <laughs> instructions? We're losing the bands now and have to hit these angles hard. Get set, go. Arms, good angles, good angle. Turn them. There we go, come on team. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. <laughs> There it is, thank you. You know what, I'm gonna be honest. Those are tough. Mikey on me, my shoelaces untied, he on me, but just being able to stay low and do those type of things. Anything that requires me getting all the way down are the toughest things, but it's the best thing for me. The drop step looks easy, but it's not. And it's super important in basketball. Nobody was saying nothing. Y'all made me look like I was doing it wrong. Somebody give me some encouragement over oh, here. Here we go, we got this one. Thank you, guys. There we go. It looked like you were practicing the drill, T, that's fine. Drop step, yeah. there you go. Tap, drop, T. I'm definitely the slowest one Tap. of the bunch. Nice. In this drill right here. 
Go! Let's go, Tori. You guys know what you're doing now. Go! Go! But we do something we'll do today with the lights and the reaction. It all comes into the game is being able to react because, you know, in the NBA, you guys are coming at you super fast. First time trying this reaction drill. It's intimidating. So, after every workout, we breathe. Uh -huh. I don't know what my crew is doing right now. Can't leave them alone. Look at this. You did great. Thank you. You did great. It feels like a very basketball-specific workout. These are like things that specifically myself and Mike have kind of locked in on. And I yeah. remember I called them after the playoffs was over. I was like, look, I got to get better at these type of things. And he was like, look, if you can be here consistent all throughout the summer, you know, we make a lot of progress. So I've definitely been seeing the progress. And it's uh, days like this are competitive and fun. So yeah. those are always a good, good aspect of the training. Do you always train essentially like in your hometown? Since my rookie off season, just to be able to be with all of us together and do it, yeah. it's been huge for me. All right, so you talked about the NBA like shifting a lot and you loving the team that yeah. you're with. Do you feel any added pressure that you're gonna have to take on a bigger role maybe this upcoming season or more of a leadership role? Yeah, I think uh, definitely more of a leadership role. And that's something that uh, I'm ready for, something that I'm you know, doing the things that I'm doing today yeah. and um, developing my game. I wanna be the best player that I can be. I wanna help my team be able to be in a position to win a championship. So there's definitely going to be things in my game that are going to have to enhance to help us do that. So I'm definitely looking forward for that opportunity and um, being out and going and, and, and showing what I can do. Obviously, you know, we have a lot of athletes who maybe want to be in your shoes one day. Yeah. Do you have any advice for them? Just to not get caught up in the, the hype of everything. Stick to core values that you have as a person, whether that be working hard, treating people with respect, really stick to bettering yourself every single day. At the end of the day, it, it's not life or death, you know what I mean? It's a game and like, you're gonna play it for the love of it, but when it's over, you have to take the qualities that you bestowed in the game and go face real life too. All right, and I have one more question for you because our overtime fans would kill me if I didn't ask. What was it like meeting J. Cole, your twin? Yeah. <laughs> No, it was, uh, when I met J. Cole, it was dope. We was just sitting there talking. My sister was with me and she had said like, do you know like people say y'all look alike? Uh -huh. And he, he wasn't, he, he's not a big social media guy, so he didn't yeah. really know that. Uh -huh. And then he's just like, look, he's like, no, I never heard that. People always ask me like, how many times do people tell you you look like J. Cole? It's, it's probably happens about at least once a day. Then I've made your day complete by asking you the right? question there about you go. J. Cole. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> cool. Cool. Great day. Great job. Yeah. Thank Great you job. So much for me. It was fun. Sure. We have a swag bag. For hey, you. there we go. A bunch of overtime T-shirts and hoodies, and you guys can. Do yeah. Them right, like. Well, you know, I'm not showing them because they're trying to steal everything. I don't even have that one, so hey. you get the exclusive. It's fire. <laughs> you know, if I wear this. The kids in the city, they're gonna be trying to run this off my back now. <laughs> they, they love them some overtime now. <laughs> Shout out OT. We in the building. I know it's getting cold, and I need you to be watching all these overtime videos. So get your hoodie, and check out the rest of the videos right here, and subscribe.